What's up, Domino community? We are in San Diego doing a huge housewide Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine is basically a combination of like everyday objects that interact to make a chain reaction. We have an Airbnb and we're basically making a housewide Rube Goldberg machine. And the objects are themed like they would typically be in that room, but they're being used in the chain reaction. So for the kitchen, we're using all kitchen objects. Living rooms, like lots of decorations and stuff. There's a kids themed room, an adults themed room, an office themed section, and it'll even go out to the backyard. So it's just a massive group gold machine that goes throughout an entire house. Why is Lily Heather here <laughs> if there's no dominoes? Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm gonna be a machine builder for a week, so we'll see what happens, but I'm excited. This is the floor plan. As you can see, it has all of the rooms and the Airbnb. Uh, this is really complicated, Steve. Which way is it going? Kitchen, table, fridge, island, around the front door, a display table, and then over to the kids' room with a bunch of toys, tricks and stuff, and then it comes out with a marble track to go around to the bathroom section, and then come out here to the office section. It makes a phone call to a, a phone right here to trigger the adult's bedroom, and then comes out here, does the whole living room section, then the backyard, then the finale at the back of the backyard. And what is the finale? It's gonna pour lemonade for the whole team, and this is the start of the machine, so... When life gives you of, lemons! It's kind of like a joke. And it's gonna work, and we're gonna celebrate at the end, right? Yes. Yes. It's gonna work. One take. One take. One, one take wonder. Take. Tim's gonna eat a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> These are all the materials. So I'm working on a light bulb trick, and this fishing line is gonna release the light bulb to go down and hit a target. And now I'm just going to reset it real quick. Dang. Nice. Yeah. That's my first machine trick here. Ooh, I like this. Good. The very start of the machine. And that's not a real lemon, right? Nope, it's fake. You can <laughs> but see no that. one will know. So it's going to roll down into the cup and it, the cup falls and spins onto this, releasing the marble. And that hits that. and. Eventually, it'll be connected to the microwave trick. trick so oh, we're that's not cool. Yet, but I'll, we'll do quick tests of both of them. Okay. So that'll do something, and then the spoons will be like this, and they get released, and then the microwave opens, and then the, it'll bring the action to this part of the. Kitchen. Very cool. I've been working on the display tables for the two like big boy tricks. So I finished both of them in terms of like the actual tricks themselves. And then here's this one, which still needs a starting connection. Right now I'm working on part of the office table <laughs> and I'm going to build some tricks with these random office supplies. So I want to take this little steam roller here and unroll a track down this for a ball to go down. And I also want to find a way to use this because it has a sliding part to it and this flipping part. So I want to have it ah. flip down and then have that release the slide. Yeah. And then put some paper under it. Yeah. It'll actually cut it. Maybe. Yeah. You're actually going to cut paper? If it works. That'd be cool. If you have it like hanging off the edge of the table. And then you like cut it. And then it that would be off. like that'd be cool. That'd be like under like a clickbait, super satisfying video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like cut by a chain reaction. And I'm just Mark? Gonna launch poop into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a hair dryer, launch and some balls. We're gonna have rubber duckies. We've already got. Ooh, I can give a demonstration actually. Easy. Ooh, oh, cool. nice. You use a shampoo bottle as the weight to Oh, oh nice. That's Thematic smart. Thematic. I like that. Herbal essence. Mm -hmm. that, that's like, we're actually right. sponsored by it. <laughs> like, Hashtag uh, not a sponsored <laughs> video. Are you going to put anything behind like it? A true themed yeah, Like in the shower? Yeah, we're going to put a naked person back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> During the video. Oh, we should <laughs> actually do yeah. in a bathing suit. That yeah. would be hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Slowly pull a tissue out. That's what I just suggested. <laughs> I really hope this toilet's clean. Uh. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> that's it. No, that's the whole machine. <laughs> that's it? Oh, that. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so the display tables are now done. Quick stop. Yeah. Quick stop. No. 
Awesome. After the initial section, we added a method for the microwave triggering something in the credit board, and then these herringbones out of silverware, and then we have the ball gets released to hit the mousetrap and turn on the sink, and it fills up that container. It overflows onto the sponge, which weighs it down and releases that ball, dominoes across, and then the teapot spins over here. And we're gonna probably have cups or something roll back here and then do our plate domino trick all the way across here, but we have to buy more stuff. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> just needed my ball, my ball further. Oh. further. Set that up wrong. <laughs> Basically, it's my fault. <laughs> So we're gonna come along here, turn on the hair dryer while also shutting it off. So that could be actually kind of hard. Can't to see. Film. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be hard to film because it's like going up here super fast, but it also like shuts it off. So you could just like ignore that part. It's the shower curtain. And then part it comes down this way, shuts the toilet while also pulling out a tissue and throwing away the ball into the trash and the. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's really fast. That was Scared. very fast. <laughs> it is day two and we're gonna continue with the machine. Okay, so as you know, I'm a domino builder, so I haven't really done much with chain reaction machines. So this is definitely a learning experience for me, but I felt like I was a little lost in the very beginning, but then I got into the groove pretty quick and now I'm like, I'm just going and it's actually working out pretty well, I think. I got like from here to hear done. I'm learning from the pros and maybe by the end of this I'll be a machine builder. Who knows? Nice. Spice dominoes. Mark, this is cool. Thank you. How does it's it like work? A, it's like a little suspension bridge. Ooh. These are going to be flipping around. Oh, and nice. Across. This one. Very cool. And that's on the fridge. And I made it so it's more important that we can Yes. True, true. So if you want to get snacks, you still can. of this table is like basically done i'm just doing testing now i'm trying to do this trick where the ball is going to go down which knocks off this domino pulls off this weight and then the light will go down rotate hit this kappa piece and then eventually this is the real kappa piece it would be like right here but i don't want to set this off just yet Alright, this Kaplan was supposed to fall off the table, but it flipped in. <laughs> so I think I can solve that by just standing it up instead of having it down here. Also, when we build machines, we tape down each domino so that it's easily resettable. And that way, we don't have to keep setting up dominoes every time. Ooh, the block came off early, but it still worked. Yeah! It worked! This is my first real Rube Goldberg machine. Now all we need is a full table test. Yes. Joel is working on the other side over here. Almost done. Almost Couple done. More connections. All right, so we figured out the connection from the light bulb going down to the target, and that's gonna shoot this wooden ball up the green ramp and then hit a domino, which will eventually be attached to a string, and then that'll release something on this table to go off. What's up with these grapes? Just yeah, hanging here. Oh, They're gonna start here. Okay. Oh. oh. It'll it'll hit the it, bucket. It will. <laughs> Don't, trust us. It will. <laughs> it will. The alligator Whoa. in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the ducks. I could like sharpie on their names so that you get more emotionally attached before they die. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. There they go. They We're did. fed to the alligator. And then Tim will animate them getting eaten. <laughs>
That's what Tim does. Tim's an animator. Wow. Yeah. What a machine. Yeah! That was a full table test. Now, all we need to do is get that to happen 100% of the time. How does this work? It's just a very small trick. You release the ball, it falls in the cup, the cars are rolling down, and then you have something that goes along this way. And then that's gonna lead to the chairs? Somehow, yeah. Welcome to day three of Housewide Machine. What do we have over here? I'm just smacking some wine glasses. Are you gonna play a song with it? Hopefully, but I don't know if they're actually tunable. I hear a difference. Right. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. I've seen wine glasses like break from this before. Can I take one? Yeah. So I kind of worried about it. All right, so right here we got some classic 2010 machine Rube Goldberg book tricks. Um, both of them are essentially just marble track using um, the hardcover book so that it makes a marble track for the balls and it's used in just about every single Pythagoras Suichi that exists. And so it's gonna look something like this. Nice. And then we're just gonna connect that domino up to here and that'll lead right into the office table. This is the last section of the office area. I built a calculator which is attached to a Hot Wheels car and it's gonna go down this track, hit a block, and then make this stylus rotate down and hit a phone and that's gonna make a phone call which will vibrate another phone in that room. So this is the very end of the office area. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Nice. nice. We are almost done the adults room now. I think we just have one trick that's gonna be um, holding back a shirt going down a zip line through here. What was the most difficult part of this room? There wasn't really anything too difficult. I guess that light bulb trick gave us some problems. We had to really adjust the length of string and the distance from every wall and the door mm. so, so it wouldn't hit it yeah kind okay. of swings out pretty far so that's kind of the only place in the room that it fits gotcha a so, little bit of a weird place to put a lamp yeah <laughs> right in front of the closet <laughs> the mark dispensary i feel like this just makes me want to go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> i'm here with some marble track to build a Marble track and Hot Wheels, so. You guys did all the hard work and I'm just showing up <laughs> at the very end. Get my name in the credits, that's all. <laughs> okay, so here's a Hot Wheels test. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh my me. I got it. Sweet. Are these things watertight? I'm assuming so. <laughs> Ew. Okay, evacuate the area. I'm coming into the other bathroom. Check out this cool trick that Joel and I made. Basically, we have a flower attached on a string and then a pulley system on the ceiling. And basically what's gonna happen is the flower is gonna start on the ceiling and get released to slowly fall down into the vase. We are outside now. This is the finale of this Rube Goldberg machine. And if you can see all the way down there, this is where it will pour the lemonade. There's a fishing line attached right there. And then that goes all the way down. How is the cameraman going to film there. that? That is a great question. Let's go ask Steve. We'll take a field trip down here. Real Steve. Steve looks like he's in a hurry. I just need to pour out the trash cup. Gonna Someone's gonna drink trash <laughs> on the day. We're doing a dry run right now. Steve is filming. And 
the zip line hits the mouth trap and that releases the water, I mean lemonade, and the first glass is halfway full, it's three quarters full. Joel is doing something weird with his lemonade and it's full. And the next glass is filling up, it's halfway full, it's three quarters full, and Lily grabs it and she messed up when grabbing it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then the next glass is filling up very slowly, it's quarter full, halfway full, and now it's three quarters full and Mark grabs it, and then the next glass, that was probably a smart thing to do, next glass is filling up. Robert doesn't want a lot of lemonade, so he <laughs> grabbed it early. What's up, Domino community? We finished the kitchen section today, which is awesome, and now it connects all the way to the kids' bedroom. We also finished the office and bathroom, which are connected, and the two bedrooms are what we've been working on recently. So this is the kids' room, and we have the gravit tracks built by the amazing invention. It took me literally four hours. I spent <laughs> way too much time it, on it. It came out really good though. Yeah, I had to so take, cool. I went through like five different designs that didn't work. And then we have sky rail on top of the shelf, a cool marble run, what's, what did we call it? Domino dispenser, yes. that's what it is. Yeah. Yes. And then this is going all the way here. By the way, this is the bathroom that we're actually using. So if you want to go to the bathroom, you actually have to go over the track. So it's like getting filled up real fast. You have to be super careful. And here, Steve, do you want to explain this trick? Yeah, this is probably the craziest trick in the whole machine. <laughs> it's a bra, bra catapult. Oh my. For the adults bedroom theme section. Uh, and it's gonna fling and land in the laundry basket. And then we have the candles that are gonna roll first. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Sky rail leads over here. And then we, we finished the office pretty early on today. Yep. The and bathroom, the bathroom is done. I did this connection and now it goes all the way to the office. Cool. We're doing a full test of the patio section, which we built very quickly. And it's going to go all the way to the zip line. Cool. Let's see it. All right, that is day three of building, and we will see you tomorrow. Maybe tonight, too. I don't know. We might be building more. We just can't stop. And we have a full stop. So I just wanted to interrupt this video to say that the final video of the fall down is going to be posted next Thursday on Steve's channel, Spray Some Machines. Go subscribe to his channel right now because you don't want to miss this. Wait for that video to come out and when it does, share the crap out of it because we worked so hard on this and I really believe in it and I think it can definitely go viral. So please support him, please support the video. Next Saturday I'm posting the follow up to this video which would be part two of the behind the scenes on fall down day. Be sure to check out Steve. And let's keep going with the video. Today is the day. It is fall down day and the whole machine is now set up. I'm guessing it's gonna take 29 tries to get it right. I guess 35. 50. 50. How many tries do you think it's gonna take? One. One try. 43. 43 tries? Steve, how many tries do you think it's gonna take? He said one. One! I love your enthusiasm.